Okay. Today we're gonna look at how to frame a 16 inch on center wall. Uh, you don't really need any other tools other than your measuring tape and the 16 inch centers are indicated by the red squares 16, 32, 48, 64 and so on. Uh, there's been other videos showing marking out your 16 inch centers by going three quarter inch back from your 16 inch mark but truth be told that doesn't seem to make any difference uh, when you put in your studs to nail them together so the best thing to do is simply to mark to hook in your tape with two plates two nice straight top and bottom plates just mark the 16 inch on center with your pencil like so Eight feet, 112 inches, that's to 128 inches. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine studs we can lay out. And then what's going to happen is when you put your first stud there that, that flush with the edge of the plate, your next stud is going to come here. I'll show you. Line your stud up, the center of the stud with the mark. The next one, the same way, center of the stud with the mark, and so on. The center of the stud with the mark. You can just trust your eye on this. You don't need to mark back three and a quarter inches. Uh, this is called <laughs> rough framing for a reason, or framing. So uh, if you just line up the studs with the center of your mark, it should be okay. Because what's going to happen then, eight feet for your drywall is going to land right in the center of your, of your stud here. It's going to land right in the center of your stud. So you have no problem with any drywall or any issues with heating or plumbing as it goes up into the cavity. So. Uh, simply a measuring tape with the 16 inch uh, on center marks. Some of the, the metric tapes don't have it, so just be uh, sure to get uh, a Stanley or any sort of measuring tape. That. You go 